Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about hope and what does that mean for you? And the one thing I can tell you about hope is if you think back about Adam and Eve, um, Eve is the apple, she was tricked if you want to call it that, she had this sense of hope that she was going to get to taste the apple, right? Well then guess what happened? Adam and Eve were actually expelled from Eden. Did you know that Eve became so distraught over this that an angel actually came to her and offered her a sense of hope and a sense of, of change. And the legend has it that this beautiful angel came to Eve and, and basically said, you have to look at the cold hard truth, the cold hard facts. And basically, hope comes from a place where you're hopeless and you're feeling things are, are just so so down and out right now and you're distraught, right? Well, what happened with Eve is she spoke to this angel and the angel said to her, I will make it, I will make these little um, droplets from heaven come down and wash away all of your fears, your insecurities, and all of your sense of hopelessness. And in turn, what's going to happen is the cold, hard truth is going to face you, and it's going to turn into this snow flower. Um, you can call it a snowdrop if you want to, but it's basically like a snow flower. So right at the very last frost, you'll notice that snow in its most pure way, and this doesn't even have to just be at the end of, of the winter, but if you look very closely at a snow droplet or a snowflake, it is almost in the shape of a flower. That flower represents all things in, in divine willpower, that things are going to change, things are forever going to offer hope to you. And this angel brought this sense of hope to Eden, and Eden accepted this. And I know that not everything goes according to plan. Not everything is going to go according to how your expectation um, sits with you, in a way, right? So when things go wrong, we have to focus on these cold, hard truths about ourselves. It's time that we embrace hope, just like the angel brought Eve a sense of hope in a time of her cold despair, her sense of loss, her sense of self-doubt, okay? The angel brought her a sense of hope. So if you think about what hope is, hope is one of the most powerful human emotions that we can experience. It offers us this awakening um, with our courage, our strength, our enlightenment, our inspiration, our love. It Hope brings so much to us. And no matter what situation you're in and you're watching this video, it's because the hardship that you're going through right now is forcing you to face the cold hard facts. And let this video and let Eve's story, let this legend be a reminder to you not to give up. Eve spoke to her angel and the angel offered her this revelation that not all things have to be cold and die and wither. Not everything has to be through suffering. And right now, these little flower droplets, these little snow drops, it reminds us that winter does come to an end and spring does arrive again where we offer a new re Re, uh, a renewed sense of peace and just like butterflies they're a representation of metamorphosis right and that's the, the, the butterfly symbolizes so many beautiful ways that we can change and it's not just one change it's many changes all at the same time so reevaluate what it is that you're hoping for but be careful but, but here's the thing is, if you're losing a sense of hope, you can always call on her sister Faith to bring you that courage. Um, when things seem hopeless, just remember to trust in the, in, in the divine scheme of things and know that not everything has to be so, so desolate and so overbearingly painful. Have a sense of hope and call upon your angels. Check out my last video, Five Ways to Embrace Change.